Today we're reviewing the Picnic at a Scott backpack. Now, let's check it out. Make sure you guys remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more exclusive footage. Now let's get into it. Yeedy. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Zach Talks TV channel, man. As you guys can see, right here we have the Picnic at a Scott backpack. Off the rip, you guys can just tell that this is just a this is actually a wonderful backpack. The dimensions are there. The zippers are there. You know what I'm saying? And it just has that, that look that you want in a nice backpack. But there's something special about this particular backpack. So let's take a look inside. There's a zipper here. So the difference between this backpack and a lot of backpacks is this zipper runs all the way across the backpack to this point. So let's open it up. So it does a full, almost a full 360 with the zipper. So you guys see how it looks as a regular backpack. So let's open it up. There we have it, the picnic at a Scott. Now guys, the picnic is actually inside of the bag. Now let's check this out and see what the contents actually have. Take one of the glasses out. Now the glasses are um, plastic and it seems to have like some handkerchiefs in each one of the best, one of the glasses so that's pretty nice here it looks like a knife of some sort wooden handle stainless steel knife not bad for a picnic also we have this thing look like a cork of some sort so let's pull that out close out for a cork with a knife on this side and then we have these two things which looks like salt salt and pepper shakers one for the pepper also as you can see has the bottom block thing and last but not least we have this maybe like a hard platform if you want to cut something or cut some veggies up for your sandwich you can use that cutting board so that's pretty nice move over here to the, uh, the Tupperware so as you guys can see, we got a couple plates here. It's about four plates here, plastic plates. Then we have some utensils up here. Let's see. Now the utensils are actually stainless steel, which is nice. Feels pretty firm. Nice little design for a picnic bag. As you can see, it says stainless steel right there. Made in China, of course. Also on the butter knives you see the stainless steel made in china that's pretty much the main part of this big bag that's the meat and potatoes of this book bag so if we close that up and as you guys can see it's all very secure you can see this got a strap there keeping the plate secure take the plate out plate is pretty uh basic but what else do you need for a for a picnic it says made in prc I'm not sure what that stands for. And as you can see, this part of the book tag is actually used to keep the food and stuff uh, temperature controlled. So as you can see, it's that it has like a foam backing in there. And it also has this uh, compartment for your drink. Close it up and slide the drink in there and it moves as a unit. The unit, see, now you got a drink. Uh, thing also that pretty much concludes it man of the review of the picnic at a scott picnic bag man make sure you guys remember to like comment and subscribe stay tuned for more exclusive footage man i'm gonna be doing reviews of more cool things that i find now you can go and pick up this picnic at a scott bag on their website at picnic at a scott.com or you can visit amazon or maybe your local thrift shop and they might have it you dig? So stay tuned for more exclusive footage. I'm your host, Zach Talks TV. Until next time, yeedy! Money can't be my only motivation. The world too big, everything saturated. I'm just trying to live life and make it amazing. Never was the best.